Hello again to Boys and Girls in Primary 7 and the National Trust Primary School, to the Boys and Girls in Primary 7 and Long Tower, and indeed to the P6s who join us from time to time. Hello to you too. The last day I was talking to you about choosing a new name for confirmation, and that the reason we choose a new name is that we have a new job to do. And the slogan I said was, we choose a new name because we'll be given a new job to do. The Pope was given a new job and he chose a new name. Married people start a new family unit and the wife chooses a new name. You're choosing a new name and when you're choosing a new name for yourself, I ask you to reflect with your family that you may choose the name of a saint, Mary, Patrick, Bridget, Columba, uh, Catherine, whatever. And why would we choose the name of a saint? Because we want saints are holy people and in receiving this sacrament, our new name is for a new job to be adult witnesses to our faith in the church. I would like you to write that down, that we choose a new name for a new job. And our new job at confirmation is to be a young adult member of the church. And we talk about the responsibilities of an adult member versus a child member, which you were until now and into the future. I want you to research. Maybe you will choose the name of a saint Maybe we choose the name of your aunt, your uncle, your grandparents, your mom, whoever is important to you, that you would follow their example of goodness and kindness and that they mean a lot to you and that you would model yourselves in them. I ask you to research too now to remind yourself again, who were your godparents when you received the sacrament of baptism? If you don't know their names, ask at home or phone the church where you were baptized and ask them to find out who, if your mum and dad don't remember who your godparents were, that you would find out. Because sometimes we choose a godparent to be our sponsor of confirmation. You will have a sponsor of confirmation, and the sponsor is a person who brings you forward to the bishop or whoever's administering the sacrament to say, I know this young person, and I can stand up and say they are a good person, worthy to be an adult witness to their faith. We will talk a little more about this the next day. Thank you.